Oh dear, he murmured. It's very dark. Oh, oh, what's that? It was only an owl, but Percy didn't realize this. Oh, I wish Thomas were here too, he sighed. Then there was trouble. The car skidded and skated right into a muddy ditch. Flushed onto the road. Sir Topham Hatt's car skidded and skated right into a haystack. Sir Topham Hatt's car skidded and skated right into a pond. I'm in charge now, so no bumping and none of you a cheek. <laughs> but we like bumping. Not on my watch, Betty. This is now a bump-free zone. Oh, dear, house hard, never mind. Oh, dear. Time for me to get some shut-eye. You know, James must have been going really fast to have a crash like that. Yes, much too fast. Anyway, good night, Philip. Have you ever gone really fast, Edward? Have you ever had a nasty accident? <laughs> I really should get some sleep now. Did I ever tell you about the time I had a race with Gordon? It was really brilliant, actually. What else? Oh, yeah, it was me who rescued James when he came off the bridge and landed on top of me. Well, thank you again for letting me stay the night. We must do it again sometime. Yes. Well, you're coming back tonight, aren't you? Oh, I, um... We'll see. I'd better get going. Bye, Philip. See you tonight. Send Rusty packing. Send Rusty packing, snorted Duncan. He climbed the hill furiously. Well done, boy, encouraged his driver. Keep it up. Soon they were near the first station. Duncan was pleased. Nothing's happened. Nothing's happened, silly old diesel. Clever me. And he rocked and rolled along the line. Steady, boy, checked his driver, but it was too late. Sleepers and ballast, I'm off. And he was. Ooh, ah, shiny. Is he useful? He keeps busy, and I'm sure he means well, but he's bouncy and rude. He sings and sways and swivels around. His drivers call it rock and roll. I understand, said Scarloe gravely. What will the fat controller say, gasped Percy? He won't like it, said Duck. So who's going to tell him, I wonder, said Diesel. Two little goody-goody telltales like you, I suppose. Percy and Duck did not want to be telltale, so they said nothing. Later, the children clapped and cheered at the Mr. Bubbles Clown Show. They had never seen such big bubbles. Then, the children spotted that Thomas's funny funnel looked just like Mr. Bubbles' hat. Thank you, Thomas, the funniest engine on Sodor. Soon, everyone was laughing, and Thomas most of all. <laughs> oh. Chicken box! What on earth is the matter with you? Chicken pox! <laughs> Some engine. So it stung James right back on the nose. Eee! 
whistle James. He had had enough. So had his fireman and driver. 